Hello my friends. I wish I could say that today's topic is going to be light and fluffy and easy, but knowing the season that we're in and what other meditation you are already doing on your end and what other Bible studies and, and um, uh, steps you're taking to prepare throughout the season of Lent, you already know that there are going to be some topics that are a little tricky, a little hard on the heart, um, but in a good way, a good way that shows us the love of Christ on that cross. And we're going to be talking about that cross right now. So, Mark 15, 34 says, At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then C.S. Lewis writes in Letters to Malcolm, There is indeed one mental image which does not lure me away into trivial elaborations. I mean the crucifixion itself, not seen in terms of all pictures and crucifixes, but as we must suppose it to have been in its raw historical reality. When the Gospels report the crucifixion, they spare us the raw details. Mark writes, and they crucified him, in verse 14, 24. John states, there they crucified him and with him two others, and that's 19 verse 18. The crucifixion ordinarily reserved for criminals, slaves, and rebels was so horrific, however, that Jesus cried out his feelings of being forsaken by his father. The actual act of crucifixion is so briefly reported that we can easily miss the pain and suffering Jesus endured for us. Some Christians prefer to emphasize the resurrected Christ, which is why they have an empty cross on their altars. The crucifixion was the necessary cup that Jesus asked to be removed, but was not, in order that our redemption might be accomplished. And it was. Just a short time after that cry came the cry of accomplishment. It is finished in John 19.30. Because he had finished the job, our sins have been paid for, our redemption accomplished, our place in heaven secured. Let's pray. Jesus, through your suffering and death, we have been set free. In your mighty name we pray, the living, dying, rising, and reigning name of Jesus, amen. Goodbye, my friends. I have loved growing in the grace and knowledge of Jesus with you throughout these Bible studies, and I know that we only have more great stuff to come. See you tomorrow. Bye.